first channel we are looking at is Explorando, Austin, Texas. And I'm going to take a little bit of a verbal break here and let uh, Jeff and Viper uh, analyze this channel. So what are your first impressions here? Okay, let's see here. Sorry, I was just getting my screen zoomed in there. So Explorando, Austin, Texas. So obviously we've got a, I'm assuming this is going to be a channel in Spanish, which is totally fine. Looks um, to be, yeah, from the, yeah, from the, the titles. Titles as well, yep. Yeah. Uh, send me your photos so you can show up on my channel. Um, exploring Austin, number 23, number 24. So one of the things I would probably tell um, Explorando is to probably get away from this number 23, number 24 stuff and title it in a way that's going to entice me as a viewer to actually want to click on it. I mean, the thumbnails are going to need a little bit of work in and of themselves anyway, but the title's not doing you any favors when every title is exploring Austin, number 24, exploring Austin, number 23. It, come on, man. <laughs> let's let's not let's not be um let's put in a little bit more work in, into that to get somebody to click um because the common misconception is that only your thumbnail gets a click and click the read is actually a combination of your title and your thumbnail i'm just going to do search here to see if anybody's actually searching for explorando austin presumably explore austin in spanish and you're at the top of the search rankings and it looks as if all of your videos are coming up this is not a good thing, is it? Because it means that nobody is searching for this. So you're dominating a search term, which isn't actually a search term with any volume or volume on YouTube. Right. Yep. Yeah, if you want to give it a little bit more umph, you know, whatever it might be that you're going to be checking out, if there is something, a place that you explored, you know, whether it's on episode 23, episode 24, something that's going to be a more popular item within that video, more popular than the rest, then you might want to put that in the title. But give people a reason to actually click on these videos besides, hey, I'm exploring episode number 24. I'm curious. I want to click on this one just because I can see the vidIQ logo. Can anyone see that? It's a yep. shop. It looks like it has a green screen. Loads of achievement. Look, it's won a World Cup. It's won Wimbledon. Wow, this, this guy has many achievements, but vidIQ is one of them. Uh, Viper, let's throw it over to you. What, what have you spotted in this channel so far? Yeah, I, I agree with a lot of what Hefe said. I mean, you're exploring often, but did you find anything neat while you were exploring? I mean, that's what the people want to know. Like, anybody can explore often, but what will they find upon their exploration? And these are the type of things that we as creators have to think about when we are uploading these type of videos to YouTube. I've told you guys before, and I will say it again. When you are growing a YouTube channel, you have to have some type of value proposition. Like El Jefe said, why should somebody click on any of these videos? Like, what is it that is going to entice them to actually click and watch it? Not to mention, like El Jefe said, you got to do actual custom thumbnails and stop letting YouTube do your thumbnails because that's just, you are missing opportunity to get people to click. A lot of people are not going to click on your video if you let YouTube generate your thumbnail because they're going to feel like that might be a bot channel or you didn't put much effort into it. So I would definitely consider making your own custom thumbnails and putting some spice into them. And again, marrying your titles and your thumbnails to create that perfect potential viewer experience and roll out. Let's dig a little bit more into this channel because I'm seeing they have 636 subscribers. Uh, but when you look at the view counts, they look quite healthy, quite encouraging, actually, either around sub count or beyond in most cases, you know, 800, 500, 1,000. Why might this be if we are, I guess, criticizing the titles and the thumbnails a little bit? Well, it depends on where the traffic is coming from. So that'd be something that I would be wanting to look at. So I guess it just sort of depends on where he's going. I mean, then how's the engagement on this? Because that graph there, to me, is highly, highly interesting. Curious, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have one comment as well. Yeah. Uh, hmm, let's so. just have another look at it and see if, it, see if it has a similar trend here. Because when it's a bit a bit too peaky, if you ask me. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be yeah. nice about it. <laughs> this is another one where... What Oops. the heck? Sorry. Um... So another one here with 800 views, six comments, 200 likes, but then some curious view counts here as well. This might suggest that this creator is sharing their content externally uh, mm -hmm. on a like a Facebook group or a Reddit group. 
which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But at the same time, you're not. I, I what I always wonder here is that how is, how well is the YouTube recommendation system coping with this external traffic? Is it does it mean that it can't find the right audience on the natively on the platform? So this creator is always going to have to share this content externally, and maybe it's going to suppress organic growth. YouTube have said that you should just share away your content uh, on on any platform. But I'm still not convinced by that. And this seems to be another channel that may be supporting this case, that they may get between 500 to 1,000 views consistently from their external traffic source, but how much traffic are they getting through browse-suggested search? Right. Mm -hmm. Because as we tell you guys all the time, I mean, you can share it certainly as much as you want, but the best growth that you're going to get is organic growth on the YouTube platform itself. I would definitely be expecting far more comments for a, a video with this much engagement from the views and the likes yeah and so that's the question we're, we're, we're asking there uh we're not, we're not and let me stress we're not saying that the creator is doing anything um underhand here any shady tactics they've maybe just decide they've maybe just learned or been told that sharing their content externally is a good idea and mm -hmm. again it's not necessarily a bad idea but we're dipping under the, the surface here and we're finding some curious numbers that are making us ask questions. Yep. Um, but that that is Explorando Austin, Texas. Has he just changed his name? I'm sure it was Austin. Uh, no, I think that was it. Yeah. Was it? Sorry, I, I'm, I'm getting confused here. Uh, that is the first <laughs> channel.